Hey there everyone, welcome to Black Fridays with Spider Star U. Yes, I'm gonna be doing Black Fridays this week it seems, so um, yes. I filled Dark Boo up with so much juice, he was so full he can't even do it. He's like, oh no, don't do Black Fridays, I wanna talk about something. I'm like, no, I'm doing it, Bye bye hey, That's what he gets for kidnapping me on Tuesday. Uh-uh-uh-uh, mm-mm. So now I am doing Black Fridays, so yes, we're gonna talk about some juicy stuff and we're gonna rant. Where the ranting needs to be done. Okay, I, I'm 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 gonna talk about something today. Um, what am I gonna rant about? Um, I wanted to rant about um, racism, racism, prejudice, things like that. I want to talk about it because it seems like, well, actually, not just racism itself, just prejudice towards any all prejudice towards all all walks of life, whether it be races people of religions, sexualities, what, nationalities, whatever the case may be. I'm just talking about prejudice itself. And we're gonna get into that. First off, I think it is stupid to be prejudiced. I think it's ridiculous, and if you are prejudiced, or you know someone who's prejudiced, you need to tell them about themselves, or you need to clock the tea on yourself because you are stupid for being prejudiced. And... <laughs> Um, let me explain where I, where I feel like why this is a big deal and what what needs to be done. Um, first off, let me explain um, why it's wrong to be prejudiced. First off, it is not good to be prejudiced. Why 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 should you take out all of your anger out on one race or one sexuality or one religion just because someone of that person or someone of that like religion or sexuality or race, whatever the case may be. I'm just gonna say whatever the case may be because uh, I think you say all three of them at the same time. It's gonna be too much. Just whatever the case may be, there is no excuse for treating everyone like that because one person did something wrong to you. That is not fair and you should not do that. Because if you do do that, then there is something wrong with you because just know there's there's one bad person of all walks of life. There's one bad person, there's one person who just is really rude and um, is racist or whatever the case may be themselves. And like they just have this problem and there's no, use, there's no use like, oh yeah, they do something to you so that means you need to start doing stuff to them. There is no excuse for doing things like that. And I can't stand people to show prejudice, because when I when I see their prejudice attitudes, it makes me disgusted. I have to I had to clock the tea on multiple people who are prejudiced in my lifetime. I had to clock the tea on them because they are just so they're such bad people. Like they they try to act like, oh no, who cares that I'm prejudiced against this type of these these type of people? There's no excuse for that. This stuff makes you a bad person. I'm sorry, I, I can't I just can't say it to someone honestly. I can't really think that they're gonna they're a good person when they're prejudiced towards people and have this like they they, they when they, they they make like this like gleam like they, they get to have this attitude with all these people and it's wrong it is wrong for doing things like that and if you do that then you need to fix that because that is not right to do there is no excuse for being prejudiced because I just can't stand when I see people like oh yeah this one person did something to me so I'm like worried and I don't I I don't, I, don't, I think these be all these people of that kind of wrong. How is that fair? Let me use multiple examples for you guys. All right, let me let me break this down. If one white person is rude to you, does that mean all white people are bad? No. If one Hispanic person is rude to you, does that mean all Hispanic people are bad? No. If one black person is rude to you, does that mean all black people are bad? No. You see, this is what I'm talking about. And it's not just those two. Asian, um, um, Greek, whatever the case may be. There is so many races and so many walks of life, religion, sexuality. If some, if someone who's like, uh, let's someone who's gay, may, if someone who's gay like, acts really rude to you. Does that mean all gay people are bad? No. It's do you get what I'm saying? It is so wrong. Like there is just, it is a bad example to be bad to all these people when they didn't do that anything to you. There are so many people of every race, religion, and stuff that are so such good people. I know plenty of people of all walks of life because uh, you know I live in I live in United States. There's so many different people that there's so many different folks, especially in New York. There's like different types of people everywhere. So I am not racist or prejudiced towards anyone because there's no reason to be. Uh, if some, if so, it doesn't make any sense for someone to do things like that. If, 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 if someone did something bad to me, let's say the person was Asian, and they, let's say they were really rude to me, does that mean that I should be rude to every Asian person? No. There have been multiple Asian people who have been rude to me. There have been multiple um, 
there have been multiple black people who have been rude to me. There have been multiple people that were um, white, Hispanic, Mexican, whatever the case. I am just using this as an example. So I am white and, and well, I am white and Hispanic myself. And there have been multiple people who have been rude to me, and they have been of a certain walk of life. And does that mean I should treat everyone that certain way because that one person did something to me? No. And mo even if multiple people of that same race did something to me, that is there. There is no excuse for doing things like that. And if people who are, if people, if you are that way, you need to do something about it because it is not right to do that at all. It is not right to have like this prejudice towards someone because it makes you a very ugly person. Let me just say, anyone who has any type of prejudice, you are an ugly person. I'm just saying it straight up. People who are at all, people who are that way just makes me sick. I had to clock this on multiple people. Like when when they do, when they do something to me, when they act rude to me, like what I said, all those people who are, who are rude to me, I just I, I don't look at it as race. I look at it as that one person doing something to me. I look at one person. Oh, that one that one Asian person was rude to me. That one black person was rude to me. That's one person. That is not the whole race. That is not the whole sexuality. That is not the whole religion. It, I, that's why I can't stand people do that crap. Treat everyone the same because one person did something. There's no excuse for doing that. I'm sorry. There's no excuse. If one person's rude to me, I'm going to be rude. But I, of course, I'm going to tell them about themselves. But I'm not going to bring race into it. What is skin color? What, what is sexuality? What does all that crap have to do with anything? It has nothing to do with it. It's just, it's just someone trying to pick at something because they don't like themselves. And like, I'm sorry you don't like yourself, but there's no excuse for that crap. There is no excuse for that crap. I had to clock to multiple times on people who are like this. Like, I, I remember this, um, this one person. This one black person I saw at McDonald's was like, "Oh God, look at all the freaking Hispanic people in here! It's so freaking ridiculous!" Are you kidding me? That that type that type of crap is not freaking right. You shouldn't be talking like that. It is so stupid for people to be like that still in this day and age. It's 2013, and we still have racist people like that. There is no reason to be like that. If you don't like all the Hispanic people here, then get the hell out. As far as I'm freaking concerned, all right. I'm sorry. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about everyone. I'm taking that. I'm talking about that one person that was like that. That one person, and I had to tell him about this. So I told him literally. If you don't like all the people here, then get the hell out. He's like, oh yeah, whatever. I'm like, ah oh, yeah, whatever. You, if you, I'm getting tired of people freaking like you, freaking acting that way. You are disgusting. You are. You are a freaking. You are. You. You are just an ugly human being. That's what you are, alright? That's what you are. If you're gonna have freaking touches towards everyone just because of freaking whatever the case may be, there is no excuse for that. I am sorry. I just caught the clock of tea on people like that. There is no excuse for doing crap like that. You see, that's why we, we live in a world that like that, so you have to tell people about themselves. People get away, some people get away with things like that. Get away with their prejudice or racism, whatever the case may be. They get away with crap like that, and people in this society need to make sure that people don't get away with that. Alright, there, there's, there's nothing wrong with people like joking and stuff like, oh, this, 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 like, oh, uh, yeah, joke, joke, joke all you want. But there, there's a difference between being offensive and then joking. And people don't know the difference because some people say really harsh stereotypes, say really rude things. I have seen, I have seen so many bad stuff. I just seen, I just can't stand when, 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 when things like that happen. Like, I remember, like, I was going, I was going to this Chinese store with my um, black friend. You know, we were just chatting, we were gonna get our Chinese food, yes, 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 gotta get the Chinese food, mm-hmm. And when we got there, this freaking, these freaking Chinese per- I, I, I'm sorry, um, I shouldn't say Chinese, I, well, actually, it, it's a freaking Chinese food store, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make the assumption. But, <laughs> he was there, and he was just acting so, like, rude to my black friend, I'm like, why are you acting that way? He said, oh, well, he said, oh, well, this one black person robbed me, and he said in this Chinese accent, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to sound rude. He said, oh, this one black person robbed me, so I'm careful of these type of people who comment. I'm like, wow, you freaking selfish jerk. My friend would never do something like that, okay? I don't give a flying crap if he's black. I don't give a flying crap if he's blue, red, I don't care if he's blue, red, white, purple, or whatever the case may be. There is no excuse for treating another human being like that just because of the color of their skin, or whatever the case may be. Like, even if we get into sexualities and stuff like that. I know some people who just like, are really mean to people who are gay or who are are, are are trannies or whatever the case may be. I'm sorry, I don't mean to sound um, ostentatious right there, but I'm just saying. Whatever the case may be, they act so mean to people like that. They like, say, oh yeah, you're not a man. Or call them things like faggot, dyke, um, for lesbians, and things like that. Like, it's so mean. Why are you going to judge someone based on their sexuality? It doesn't, it doesn't pick anything else but what they are attracted to and uh, are attracted to 
mentally and sexually. That all, that's all it is. It, there's no reason to treat someone different just because of their sexuality. And I can't stand people do things like that. It's like, who cares what they are? Who cares what race someone is? We're all the same on the inside. That, that, that's what I don't get. So that you have, people need to know. When someone does something like that, you stand up for yourself or stand up for your friend that's being um, discriminated or or um, being having people having prejudice against. There is no excuse for people doing crap like that. You have to you have to tell people about themselves, and I, I do that all the time. If anyone is racist toward my friends, I always have to clock the T on that crap. All right, there is no excuse. Uh, there is no excuse. People hate gays. People who hate um, lesbians. People who hate. Black people, who, people who hate white people, people who hate Hispanic people, whatever the case may be, I'm talking about everyone. There is no excuse for being prejudiced. And if you are prejudiced, you are, you, I'm sorry, you are an ugly person. And you need to do something about yourself. Some people are, pre some people are prejudiced because of the way they were raised. And sometimes it can't be helped, but act, no, it can be helped. You are, if you are older now, you can change it. You can change the cycle. There is no excuse like, oh, I was raised that way. Then change this damn cycle. There is no excuse for that crap. I, I just can't believe it when people do that. I, 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 it really makes me sick to my stomach when, when I see things like that. I'm like, really? Really? Is there really a need to act that way? Just because of the color of their skin or whatever the case may be? I know some people who treat people of religion badly. Like, when they find out who, that they're um, religious or that they're not religious, they act like they're dumb. Like, I know, I'm sorry, I'm using this as an example. Not, everyone's, not everyone is this way, but... When I was taught, but no tea, no shade, honestly. But uh, I, I, I know that there's a lot. There's some atheists around. Um, there's some atheists around where I live, and like when they found out that I was Christian, like they would start treating me bad. And I can't stand people do that crap. <laughs> Who cares what religion someone is? It doesn't mean they're dumber. It doesn't mean you're smarter. Even it, it's the same case in in, in the reverse. Alright, just because someone's an atheist doesn't mean they're dumber, it doesn't mean that you're smarter. It doesn't mean anything, it just means what they follow, what their religious beliefs are. If they have none, that's fine. If they have some, that's fine too. See, I'm getting tired of people doing that crap. Just because someone is a certain way doesn't mean that you're smarter, doesn't mean that they're dumber, it doesn't mean anything. Alright, because I've met some really smart atheists, but i met some really smart Christian people. It doesn't mean anything just because someone is a certain way. Are you kidding me? The way people act in this world, it's it's really sickening at times, and that's why, like I said, you gotta just tell people about themselves when they do things like that. Now, I'm not saying act crazy, I'm not saying going into, like, fighting or anything. I say use your word. <laughs> There's no reason to punch someone or beat someone up unless they're doing it first, then yes, you defend your freaking self, because there's no reason people are going to be getting over on you. And yes, that's why, I'm glad I've been ranting about this, because I think I've covered a lot of ground what people need to do on some stories that has happened to me. Yeah, so I'm just gonna um, leave it like that. Like, just if someone is a certain way, you have they they have. If you know someone a certain way, you can try to help them out or something. But they ultimately need to change themselves because there is no reason for someone to be that way. There's no there's no excuse. Like I said multiple multiple times, I'm saying it multiple times because it's the truth. There's no reason to hate all white people, all Hispanic people, all black people, all Asian people, all whatever the case may be. There are so many races in this world, it doesn't even make sense. There's so many mixes and mixed culture, and it's really, it's really nice to see. I'm just saying that there is no excuse for being racist to, or being, having prejudice towards anyone. And there's no excuse for having prejudice towards someone because they're gay, or they're a lesbian, or whatever the case may they be. They'd be bi, straight, or whatever the hell it, they, they call um, themselves. And or people who are, are of a religion, or whatever the case may be. Just people need to stop that. Like, just, we need to get along in this world. I know it's probably, it's fake. Because, you know, and not everyone's going to get along. And there's always going to be that one person who always has to be like, you know, act like a bitch and everything. And there's nothing you can do about it. But just, people need to change themselves. And if, you, if you're watching this video, I hope I've helped you. I hope you, hope it helps you tell people about themselves, being racist. And remember, if someone have, if someone is prejudiced, don't say that. Let's say, like, this one white person's ra this one white person is racist or have, has, pre has prejudice. Wow. <laughs> It doesn't mean all white people are like that. Don't clock the scene. All white people, it's that one white person. Same for any Hispanic, black person, whatever the case may be. It's not all those people. It's that one person. So don't clock the tea on everyone, because then you're not you're not serving true tea. You're serving false tea, and you, that that shows that what you're about too. Don't clock the tea on everyone. Clock the tea on that specific one person or that one group of people that are doing something. And that's what I'm gonna leave you with, because. 
Whew, this Black Friday rant has been getting me ghetto as hell, and I'm sorry for it, but you know, I live in New York, and that's how it is. Ghetto as hell people. Get uh, ghetto as fuck people. That's how it is in this freaking state. But yes, I hope I helped you guys out. I hope you enjoyed my rant. Um, be sure to like this video and stuff. Um, yes, I hope you enjoyed this Black Friday rant. Yes, baby, yes. Um, be sure to watch the podcast tomorrow on Saturday. Yes, 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 yes. Gotta watch the podcast tomorrow. Hope you and hope you enjoyed our little switch up this week. I thought it was really fun doing the different roles and stuff and ranting. Yes, ranting. Oh yes, baby. Yes, ranting. And um, also Sunday's your day of rest. Yes, go to sleep. Um, catch up or take a nap or do whatever the heck you wanna do. And on Monday we have Mushroom Mondays with our my fabulous Leslie. Yes, my girl Toadette. Yes, like the favorite fat fabulous fungus, Toadetta. Toadetta, yes. Thank you guys so much for watching this Black Fridays rant, and I will see you next week on Juicy Tuesdays. And I'll also see you this week on the podcast. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.